Hi everybody and a very warm welcome to you today wherever you are and uh, whatever you're doing. If you are finding St John's for the first time online or you've just recently joined us online, a big hello to you, give us a wave. And if you have been a regular at St John's then give us a wave as well. Let's see who is with us today. Have we got any movers and shakers? Hi there. How have we got any strong towers? Hello. Any mighty warriors? Hi everybody, and any Miracle Makers Blue? Hello, and Miracle Makers Red? Hi, and any Ignite with us today? Hello there to you guys. I hope you're all doing really well. So today is the second video in our mini series on injustice. We've been thinking about some of the things that are going on in the world at the moment and wondering what the Bible says about justice and what God's heart for justice is, as we were exploring in last week's video. So today we're going to be exploring what is God's command to us about seeking justice? What is our part in God's justice? I don't know whether you know that the symbol for justice generally is a set of scales. Now, these are balance scales. And I wonder if you can just have a think for a moment as to why people might have chosen a set of balance scales as the symbol for justice. Maybe you just want to pause for a second and have a chat about that with whoever you're with right now. Well, we talked about last week justice being another word for fairness. Now, the great thing about these balance scales, they're not like the ones that I normally use for cooking and baking cakes, which are just electronic scales with one pot that goes on the top. The nice thing about these is that you can weigh one thing against another. So if I put my weight on here, immediately the scale tips down on that side, doesn't it? But if I get another weight and put it on this side, then the scales balance themselves out and they should be equal. And again, if I add another weight to this side, it goes all the way down there and I will balance it out by putting the same weight on the other side. So now we know that what I have on this side is the same as what I have on this side. Let's just say if I were to replace these weights with some lovely sweets. And I invited you around to my house and I said, come on, it's time for us to have some sweets. We would want to make sure that we each got our fair portion of sweets, wouldn't we? Two on each side. Not quite balanced, that one is tipping. So what if, while I was sharing out the sweets, I suddenly decided that on my half, I was going to put an extra sweet and the scales are slightly tipping in my favour now, aren't they? If you were really watching carefully, you might be really quick to say to me, Diana, make sure you put another one on that side. So they are both the same. And that's the thing with justice and being fair, isn't it? That quite often, when we are looking at whether things are fair, we want to make sure that they are fair so that we know we're getting a good deal. If it was me that had less on my side, I wonder if you'd still speak up or whether you'd remain quiet. Because that's what sometimes happens in life. And sometimes we do that without realising it because the scales are tipped in our favour, if you like, because we're getting a good deal. 
we don't always necessarily speak up for the other people who are not quite getting the same deal that we are. But God's heart for justice is for all people. It's not just for me or you, it's for everybody. And there are some great verses in the Bible that illustrate what God's heart for justice is. So this verse is from Proverbs and it's chapter 31, verses 8 and 9. And it says this, Speak up for those who cannot speak for themselves. Defend the rights of all those who have nothing. Speak up and judge fairly. Defend the rights of the poor and needy. When we decide that we're going to become followers of God, we join God's team. We're part of his team. And when you're on a team with somebody, you are working towards the same goal, aren't you? If you were on a football team, you wouldn't grab the ball and then go and shoot it in the net of the other team, would you? You have got to work together with your team and make sure that you are all working towards the same thing. And when we become friends with God, we need to ask God to make our hearts after his heart and to help us understand what it is that he wants to do so that we can play our part and we can be part of God's team, working for the things that he wants. And we know from the verses that we looked at last week and other verses like this one here in Proverbs, that justice and fairness are really important to God. They're a command. It doesn't say, if you want, speak up for those who can't speak for themselves. It's a direct instruction. Speak up for those who cannot speak for themselves. Defend the rights. Speak up and judge fairly. And it says defend the rights again of the needy in verse nine there. And uh, if you have been doing key stage two English, you will know those are imperative words, aren't they? They're instructions. There's no doubt about it in there. Like I said, it's not suggesting if you want to, if you feel like it, it's a direct instruction. It's a command for God. So as Christians, we should be playing our part on God's team and making sure that we're speaking up for people who cannot speak for themselves. As we've been talking about, there's a lot of talk about injustice at the moment and people who aren't getting a fair deal. Maybe you have been really struck by all the conversations around racism and how for some people who have different coloured skin, they don't get treated the same as other people. Maybe you've been struck by other things that you feel aren't fair. Maybe there are injustices in other parts of life that you've noticed that trouble you. It could be something in everyday life, like maybe there's somebody in your class at school or your group at nursery who doesn't seem to be treated fairly by the other children. Maybe they get left out or even picked on sometimes. Maybe it really angers you when you see animals being treated badly by people. Maybe you've heard stories about how people aren't allowed to um, practice their religion or be the, or worship and be the religion that they want to be in the places where they live. Maybe you've heard about people who um, are treated badly or treated differently because of who they love. Maybe you've heard about places where girls aren't treated in the same way that boys are treated. There are lots and lots of things that are unfair sometimes in the world. I'm going to invite you in a minute to pause me again, or if you want to, you could keep watching. And this is something that you could go away and do uh, after we finished, or maybe even later on today or later in the week. But I would love it if you guys would spend some time in prayer. And maybe at home... Uh, you could take um, a pot or a cup or even if you've got some old-fashioned balance scales 
like these ones, you could get the scales out. And then maybe you've got a few pieces of something. Don't have to be sweets. Um, but it could be fruit, some something like blueberries or grapes or something would be really good for something like this. Or you could even do it with beads or Lego blocks or something like that. And I wonder whether you could have um, a pile of these on your table. And perhaps you could all take one, whatever it is, and if it's edible, you could eat it. Or if it's not edible, just hold it in your hand. And just while you're doing that, I would love you to just ask God, Lord, what is it that you want to wake me up to in the world that's not fair? And I really believe the injustices and the things that we care about are what God is putting on our hearts and what he is calling us to fight for and make a difference about. So I really think if there is something that you feel really strongly about, whether it's racism, whether it's about what gender people are, whether it's about homeless people or people who don't have enough money to buy food during the school holidays, whatever that is, I would just want you to spend a minute and just ask God, God, what do you want to put on my heart about injustice around me? And then maybe you could take a second piece of whatever it is and you could just spend a minute and just tell God what makes you angry or what you think is unfair in that situation and just spend a minute telling him how you feel about it. And then you could take a third piece and while you're holding it or eating it, just ask God, what is it that you want me to do in this situation? How can I play my part on your team, God? How could I bring justice in any of these situations? And just spend a moment with God and see what he shares with you and see what he might be calling you to do to make things fairer for other people. Let's pray together. Father, we know that you don't need us. You don't need us to do things because you are all powerful. You are the God of miracles and you are amazing. But thank you, Lord, that when we choose to follow you, that you call us into your team and that you invite us to work together with you for the things that are on your heart and that you love. So, Father, we ask now that you would change our hearts and that you would make our hearts after your own heart. Would you show us the things that we need to get angry about, that we need to get passionate about? And, Father, would you show us where we can make a difference? And, Father, we know that some of these things that are on our hearts are really, really huge and big things. And sometimes it feels a little bit like, well, what can I do to help? Lord, would you show us? Would you lead us? Would you give us wisdom and help us to understand how we can make even small differences to bring justice and fairness to those around us? And Lord, we do these things for your glory in the name of Jesus. Amen. So as we were praying there, Sometimes these things are pretty big issues and it might feel as if they're not something that we could really do anything about. So maybe after you spend some time praying, you could share or just chat with the people in your house about what kind of things you might be able to do to bring fairness and justice into our world. We'll see you again next time. Have a great week. Bye.